I am convinced that shopping your closet is the best way to get to know your sense of self and your personal style while also not shopping and changing your consumption habits. So in that spirit, we're going to do a shop your closet video. This time I'm taking looks from the spring 2024 runway. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I talk about shopping your closet, reducing your fashion consumption through changing the way you see your clothes from just a bunch of stuff that can feel disposable to elements of style and tools for self-expression. So let's get into the video. Okay, this first little series of looks I would say is more uh, spring or even like at the end of the summer because they're a little bit heavier. First is from Stella McCartney, second also from Stella McCartney, third is from Chloe. And I did find some common elements in these looks. The first biggest element was this use of structured black pieces. I'm a big fan of wearing black in the summer, so these looks really attracted me. Some other elements that I noticed about this were a really great contrast between dark and light. I loved the drama of these looks as well. You know, the jacket with nothing underneath, the really beautiful voluminous shoulder, the corset top, and I loved how we're showing a lot of skin on all of these. Of course, a leather jacket is like really not practical for summer, but again, I'm not really taking the fact that it's a leather jacket or a leather dress. What I'm taking here, especially another element, is the structure. Even in the bustier with the poofy sleeves on the Stella McCartney runway, there's a lot of structure in that kind of corset top. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's like, oh, it's a baggy jean paired with a, a leather jacket. Before I go ahead and shop my closet, I always do this kind of breakdown because then it decouples my mindset from thinking, oh, I need to go out and buy these things, and instead thinking of what are the elements that I can recreate in my closet. So it's really about distinguishing and identifying these elements of style. The structured versus boyfriend casual denim look. I like this. I could have worn my high-waisted wide leg jeans, but they don't have that relaxed fit. They still feel a little bit structured, and I really wanted to contrast the slouch with the structure here. Okay, I also wanted to try this. I really loved that romantic runway look. I love these beautiful, romantic, voluminous details. And then I buy the thing and I don't wear it because it really doesn't feel like me. So I wanted to test out what that would look like. So what I've done is I've taken this beautiful sort of crochet uh, Cezanne blouse and I unbuttoned it and I put it underneath my bustier. This is what it looks like from the back. This is very cool. Do I feel like myself in it? And the answer is yes. I think it's beautiful. I've played with the proportion here a little by keeping the bustier untucked and lowering the waistline a little which makes the jeans feel a little bit even more slouchy without buying a whole new pair of jeans that sit at the hips. Totally unnecessary. This is good. I would wear this for sure. The next two looks come from the Celine runway. Surprise, surprise. The elements that really resonated with me were the use of a really, really short hemline and then a long sleeve top or jacket of some sort. So the elements that I really liked here were the heftiness of the accessory and the shoe on the bottom, but also it's got that really crazy contrast between the black and white. I like that there's some layering going on here. I think it could be an interesting way to look at layering for summer. It might just kind of get my brain going. I also like that there's still a little bit of a ladylike vibe, even though these looks are relatively sporty with the short hemline, the very functional shoe, but we've still got like a shoulder bag. We've still got these really great glam sunnies. The tailored separates also make these looks feel more elevated and polished versus sporty. And I just, I love this playful mix of styles. Okay, I completely changed everything around. Rather than go for a cropped jacket or an oversized jacket, I thought I would just take a cotton sweater with a boyfriend fit, because this is definitely something I would actually wear. I actually don't mind this at all. I actually would probably enjoy wearing these little socks, like a little tennis inspired outfit. But you know what? There's a little bit of black in this sweater. And now I am curious, hang on. 
Let's see. Okay, I would wear this. This is pretty cool. I definitely wouldn't wear it now because it's way too hot, but if we're talking spring pre-fall, I would do this. I think we've kind of nailed, I mean, in my opinion, <laughs> nailed it in the sense that I've come up with an outfit that I would actually wear with elements that work for me and proportions that work for me and a vibe that I actually feel like myself in. So no, it's not at all like our inspiration, but there are definitely elements from those inspiration photos that we've applied here to come up with this. I never would have come up with this without, without doing this little exercise. So yay, that's a win. This third series of looks is one from Céline and another from Victoria Becca. I saw that they both incorporated tall black boots. And again, I love wearing my tall black boots in the summer or even let's say the shoulder season. They offer the most opportunity for a little bit of tension, a little bit of contrast. In all of these looks, I think the biggest thing is that tension. So there's definitely this element of sort of rougher edge with the boot with these sort of diaphanous and very romantic and light pieces. I just love this contrast. I also like that there's a little bit of layering involved. I like that there's this sense of ease with a sense of elegance. I love the proportions of like the oversize over something a little bit short or something tapered. I think this is a really great use of proportions and can make for a more interesting outfit. Of course, love the elements of neutrals, but if you're shopping your closet for these looks and neutrals aren't really your jam, you can definitely easily add some color play in here as well. But just taking a look at how which, which looks are more tonal in their neutrals, like the two Céline looks are very tonal, whereas the Victoria Beckham one is very high contrast. And you can play with both of these in the realm of color or in the realm of neutral. It's entirely up to you. Okay, what is even happening? I love this. I went a little rogue on the accessories. On the Victoria Beckham run runway, these boots were styled with like a high knee sock. I think these boots do it on their own. There's already a lot going on with this dress. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. I love the juxtaposition of this basket bag with the heavy boot. The heftiness of this black boot is not so jarring. There's a lot of volume in this dress. So the, the visual weight is already quite balanced out. Where would I be in a situation that requires a fun beachy basket bag? with also these boots. I don't know, but I'm really hoping I find one. Probably more spring or pre-fall, or perhaps if I took off the sunglasses, a little bit more evening where it gets cooler at night. So I'm not surprised that I'm struggling with like where I would wear this. However, um, I know for sure if the weather was good for this kind of combo, I would 100% wear this. I just love it so much. So that is what I have for you today. Let me know if you thought those looks were a hit or a miss in the comments below. As always, in my opinion, if I can create something new using what I already have, then it's a full on win for me. Or if I've learned something, it's a win. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, or if you learned something new as well, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for being here as always. I'm so grateful that you show up on Sundays and you watch these videos. Like I just love it and that you're as enthusiastic at shopping your closet in slow fashion as I am. So thanks for sharing, sharing that with me. Uh, and I will see you in the next slow fashion video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, wherever you're at. Ciao.